Hello and welcome back to the XRP podcast. My name is Andrew and I am your host. Today I am coming back with a quick update video regarding Zahao nodes. This update is because a new version of Zahao was actually released yesterday for the Zahao nodes. So if you have created a Zahao node or if you want to, you can watch my how to create a Zahao node tutorial. If you have a Zahao node, you can connect your Evernode host as well to it and start generating Evers rewards and making passive income. I have a tutorial on that as well. Basically, everybody needs to update their Zahao nodes right now because otherwise you will be amended out. If you're running depreciated software, then in about two weeks time, the nodes on the universal node list, the validators that actually get paid out for running a Zahao node, by then should be done with their vote regarding if any Zahao nodes running depreciated software should be allowed to stay on the Zahao network. And the answer is going to be no. <laughs> Luckily for you, if you follow me on Twitter at XRP Podcast, then you would have realized that I actually already updated the document with instructions on how to update your Zahao node to the latest software. All right, so if you don't follow me on Twitter, I suggest you do that for the quickest updates if that is what you want. For anybody else, I'm going to be showing you visually on screen today how to do it. It won't take long. It should just take about one, two minutes, and it'll be so quick and easy that you won't even have to think about it. All of the instructions I will have in the Google document that's in the description. The Google document includes instructions on how to build a Zahao node how to update your Evernode host, as well as how to update your Zahao node to this latest software that I'm showing in this video. If you'd like to support the podcast, there are links in the description to stake with sync using code XRP. There are also a couple of donation addresses in the description if you wish to donate. And there are several free airdrops, which you can take advantage of that also support the podcast. You can also get a Zahao node if you don't want to run your own. I also offer Zahao node services as well. If you are interested, simply go into the description and hit the link for the 888 giveaway form. Simply fill in your information and doing this also enters you for a chance to win one of eight prizes of $100 USD. You don't have to pay anything to enter the giveaway. It is completely free. If you have two or less Evernote hosts, I'm also providing a Zahao node to you for completely free. All you have to do is fill out the form. Thank you so much, whatever you choose to do. Anything that you can helps me do this podcast full time and long term now. So basically, all you need to do is go to the Google Doc and then follow these steps, copy and paste the steps that I'm using in this video. All right. The first one just takes you to a directory. OK, the second command just downloads the file onto your Zahao node. Just double check the build number to make sure you have the right one. But I always keep it updated. If a new update comes out, all you ever need to do is change the build number. If you notice, that's what I state in the Zahao document as well. All you need to do is change the build number. But besides that, the commands are the exact same for any updates in the future. That way you can easily keep your Zahao nodes on the latest software. But it's as simple as that, just a couple commands, and then you simply restart your Zahao node. And then after restarting your Zahao node, I just want you to run this command. That way you can make sure your Zahao node is on and working and on the latest software. In the status screen, you can see if you simply scroll up that under build version, it says that you are on release 790, which is currently the latest version at the time of me making this video. But you would just follow these steps again, simply change the build number according to the latest release and you are good to go. When you do update your Zahao node, always make sure you just check that your Evernote hosts are still active just in the event that there's any errors or glitches and you may have to reboot the Zahao node. Beyond that, I've heard some of you in the comments saying as well that you are having issues in terms of actually changing your lease amount. 
So with the latest version of Evernote, you can be disqualified from gaining rewards if you are doing one of the four following things. One, if you are running on the public Zahao node, after this following Monday, you will be disqualified because those nodes will no longer be active. So you need to get on a private Zahao node. So build one or you can use one of mine. The next thing is if your lease amount is higher than the current moments rewards. So generally right now, the best practice is to keep your lease amount under 0.1 Evers. All right. The third thing is if you haven't already updated your Evernote software to version 0.8.2. I have a video on that out as well. You can check it out if you need to do that. The last thing is if you are running an Evernote host with less than three instances. So if you are, then you need to go get a different VPS with higher specs that can support an Evernote host with more than three instances which really most VPS providers already give for very cheap. If you want to support the podcast, you can get a VPS for your Evernote host through Cloud Fanatic. It's about $8.10 with the discount code, and that also supports the podcast as well. Otherwise, another great, great VPS provider I recommend that's very cheap, even cheaper than Cloud Fanatic, is Contabo. So considering I've already provided video solutions for all those other issues, I will show you just very quickly the command to use in order to change your lease amount. I will be coming up with a video in the future as well, just showing some basic Evernode commands. That way you can have a little more confidence and knowledge in terms of what you are doing behind this command line interface since I know it can be very intimidating working in an environment that you are new and not used to, especially when it comes to technology, when it feels like just pushing the wrong button can break everything all at once. But it really is just as simple as entering the command you see on the screen here. You simply change the number to the number you want your lease amount to be and you press enter. And that is pretty much it. You will just wait a couple seconds. I think it's like a one, two minute process just because it has to run through a couple test transactions to make sure there's no errors or issues. And then you're good to go. It's as simple as that. Once again, if you do have issues setting it up this way, and I really hope you don't because you should probably follow this way, but you can also do it manually by entering in the command you see on the screen right here where it takes you to the mb-xrpl.config file, and then you can manually edit your lease amount. Besides that, that's pretty much everything I have for the video. I think I will come up with a video in the future just showing some more things that you can do with the Evernode command line interface. So other scripts that you can use to perform different functions in your Evernode host and in your Zahao node as well. What I would really love for you to do in the comments of this video is just to tell me what you would like to see more of, what you wouldn't like to see so more of, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Besides that, I'm just chilling really. It's a Friday night. I hope you guys are gonna go out and do something, you know, touch some of that grass. I haven't talked about the good old grass in a minute. So I got to get it back in your head. <laughs> if you'd like to support the podcast, <laughs> then you can check out the description. You know, there's airdrops, there's links to Stake Sync and all that. There's the donation link, all of that wacky fun stuff. I would also like to thank, thank so much the second person to donate to the podcast already, Alex. Thank you, Alex. Now you join Steve on my list of OG donators, I appreciate you guys so much and everything that you guys do goes directly to allowing me to now live my dreams out full time and do this podcast, do this YouTube channel full time and be perpetually online. But I've been actually talking to a lot of you throughout this process and it's not just the people who donate monetarily, it's the people who have donated their time to helping me refine these Google documents and make them the best they can. It's the people who have been talking to me and encouraging me throughout this entire process that have gotten me this far. It's every single one of you 
who has answered my emails, answered my Twitter messages, commented, liked, subscribed, each and every one of you. I thank you all so much, and I will do my best to continue putting out more good content for you guys. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Be well, be safe, take care. God bless you.